Welcome back to another exciting episode of Inside Learning. So today we are going to discuss about what are the ribosomes, ribosomes uh, occurrence, ribosome structure and ribosomes function. So without wasting any time, let's just move to our video. Ribosomes are the one of the most important organelles that are found inside the cell of the eukaryotes and the prokaryotes and it is composed of RNA and protein. The ribosome converts genetic code into the chain of amino acids. So this is basically a little bit of introduction of what is ribosome. Ribosomes are basically one of the most important organelles. If you don't know what is organelle, let let me just tell you the organelles are some uh, structures or organelles are the structures that are present inside the cell and they perform very important function each organelle has its own specific function the uh, these are the components of the inside the cell so ribosomes is one of the most important organelle and it is composed of rna and protein and plus what is the function of ribosome ribosomes basically convert the genetic information the genetic message into the protein form and those proteins then used in our cells and uh, through our body to perform different functions so where the ribosomes occur the occurrence of ribosomes are ribosomes are present both in the eukaryotes and in the prokaryotes and they are present in the cytoplasm of the cell Structure. A ribosome is a complex of RNA and protein. As I have already told you, the ribosomes are composed of RNA and protein, therefore known as the ribonucleoprotein. That's why we also known we also call ribosomes as ribonucleoproteins because they are composed of RNA and proteins. It is composed of two subunits, smaller and the larger. So basically, the structure of the ribosome is comprising of two subunits, uh, a smaller unit and a larger unit. These two units combine together to form a large structure of the ribosome around 62 percent composed of the rna while the rest is protein so as i have already told you the rna uh, is the is a very important organelle that perform the main and a uh, very important function of the uh, body of the humans or other eukaryotes or prokaryotes as it is composed of rna and proteins so this is a very cute and i just try to make it very simple cute structure of the ribosome and this is basically endoplasmic reticulum so in order to understand the ribosome occurrence the ribosome structure or the presence of ribosomes inside the cell you must first need to understand the concept of endoplasmic reticulum what is endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum is basically an other organelle that is present inside the cell in in the new in the cytoplasm of the cell and endoplasmic reticulum is basically of two types rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum they perform many important functions and the one which is known as a rough endoplasmic reticulum have ribosomes on it so due to the presence of ribosomes on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum it is known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosomes are present on the surface of R O U G H rough endoplasmic reticulum and the ribosomes are present on the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum as such as you can see in this diagram the uh, the uh, the circular structure or the bead like structure uh, spread, scattered all over the structure of endoplasmic reticulum is known as ribosomes ribosomes are very important here i i just uh, in order to understand you what are, are the exact location of that ribosomes i just have drawn you in this way so let's just see what are the main functions of the ribosomes ribosomes assembles the amino acids so if you know about the process of amino acids or the process of protein synthesis the long polypeptide chains from the messenger RNA stand you will completely understand the structure of ribosomes so the process by which the messenger RNA translate its whole message from its structure to the uh, amino acids to the new chains of the protein this process this whole process took place on the surface of ribosomes so ribosomes are basically the sites where messenger rna forms the new polypeptide chains or the new proteins they are the site of protein synthesis as i have already told you so if i can draw there let's just remember the uh, the structure or the whole process of how the messenger rna translate into the protein structure suppose this is a messenger rna strand that is just uh, that just leave the nucleus and now present in the cytoplasm of the cell so this is a messenger rna strand and now this messenger rna strand translate or connect the um, amino acids that bring by the transfer rna and combine them to form a long chain of proteins or combine amino acid to form the long chain of uh, long chain of proteins 
सो इन दिस वे दिस स्ट्रक्चर दैट प्रोवाइड्स द होल स्पेस टू मैसेजर आर एन ए टू कन्वर्ट इट्स मैसेज इन टू द लॉन्ग पॉलीपेप्टाइड चेन दिस साइट इज नोन एज द राइबोसोम सो राइबोसोम्स आर बेसिकली द फैक्ट्रीज वेयर द प्रोटीन्स आर सेंथिसाइज दिस इज द करेक्ट वे टू डिस्क्राइब राइबोसोम्स दैट दे आर द फैक्ट्रीज वेयर द प्रोटीन्स आर फॉर्म then these proteins transported outside the cell as we know that that all the functions in our body are performed by specific type of protein each every kind of protein has its own function has its own side to perform so whenever um, 100 and numerous of messenger rna translate their message into the polypeptide chains parallel so they, they just transfer that newly formed protein chains into the cell or outside of the cell to perform different type of function where they are required to perform so in this way the ribosomes helps in the formation of protein synthesis they provide the site they provide some kind of important enzymes to perform that function so this is the function of ribosome i hope this video uh, will be helpful for you as i have not discussed a lot about it but the major and the most important point we have discussed in this video so let me just know know what would you want to hear in my next lecture